Hello, yes, so this is uh, the U United Arab Emirates Islam, Saudi Arabian Islam, and uh, Pakistani Kashmiri Muslim Islam. Uh, that you, what dirty things you do. And uh, Safdar's younger brother. And uh, you take him and you make him a sheikh. So you, I wouldn't have said anything, but uh, unfortunately, I'm uh, from my passport because my great grandfather was from UAE, Sharjah, and so my passport because my my father is from here, Alwati. And we don't like to show that we are Luatis. It's mostly Arabization. God knows what this is. First, they imposed this Arabization. We could not speak in our Koja Maskati. And we used to hide ourselves. So, uh, like, uh, you know, it is such a superficial, artificial existence here. I don't think uh, they will learn. Uh, maybe I thought the new generation is coming up here. I don't know. I think they killed my brother Abbas. You see the money problem here is so bad. Once you, you know, get into the habit of money, it is such a chaska, we say, such an addiction uh, that you have to maintain. And if you don't, then you want to kill yourself for money, uh, financial things. So, um, like, there should be some moderation, some supervision of money and how we spend it. and so that we know. But uh, here there's so much money that they just get uh, overboard and then when something happens, we just want to kill ourselves. It's our how, you know, we don't want to show our faces. And uh, the police, this, uh, the going to the police station and showing our faces there, uh, it's just very bad uh, here too. Uh, so a woman should not go to the police station. But I went so many times here for my case. I thought maybe someone would listen, but uh, they didn't listen. And uh, I don't know. Look at the, I mean, I can't talk right now too much. <sighs> I just want to, before I die, I want to send out a message. Um, so if I were, I didn't want anything from the United Arab Emirates. Uh, neither did they help me in my, and neither did I want any help from them, uh, from Karachi American School. In fact, my father told me that he could take help from the mobile oil company, which was uh, in franchise with the, the Sharjah National New Boyle and my father was one of the board of directors and founders of Charlo, Sharjah National New Boyle. But I didn't allow him because it would have come on that poor lady, Miss Asteria Dissa, uh, the PE teacher. So, the um, thing is, uh, before I die, I'm, uh, I couldn't speak to my brothers right now. Uh, I told them I can't. Because, you know, once you know someone, you want to break down. Uh, and they would not. Uh, I'd, uh, and uh, so the world is uh, powerfully like the powerful people in the world. I don't know if they have any shame or not. But is this your Islam, to have dirty things 
done under the, you know, put under the rug, which you do with your power and money, and you feel no shame. My mother and I, uh, my mother was when at the airport here a long time ago. She was like, oh my God, my Pakistanis working in this heat. But let me tell you, the money power is, uh, the, the greed is so much here, so much in the Arab world uh, that uh, I don't think uh, the, uh, the Pakistanis will use them and they will use the Pakistanis for cheap labor and things like that. This will go on and uh, no, there is uh, cheap labor. They do take Pakistani, Asians, Bangladeshis, Indians are working here. Um, are they actually doing low jobs like for the United Arab Emirates? So taxi and all these things, right? Low, low jobs here. And uh, the people who use them and flatter them uh, they perhaps will become the, sh you know, like a Kashmiri sheikh, united, like Nawaz Sharif had his uh, thing here. And what is Nawaz Sharif? And you know, all this political thing, and I'm wondering what is going on in the world? Stop this. Uh, what, like I was just thinking before I got the news uh, that uh, my, my brother Abbas is in the hospital again. And now they're making some excuses that he has COVID. But when previously he was in the hospital, they must, should have taken care that he should not get COVID. So this means that he's gone. I called him, he doesn't answer the phone. How can he be so isolated without the phone, without anything? <clears throat> so he's dead. They killed him. Uh, the UAE, Rashid Hospital, killed him. That's why I'm very scared here. Uh, very scared in the UAE, in Dubai. I feel trapped and all. And uh, I feel my health is deteriorating here. And there's a lot of indecency. <clears throat> and you can't go out alone. You shouldn't, actually. You can go out alone, uh, but I don't think a woman should live alone in the UAE. Cause it's very tough. It's all um, for, you know, your man. It's a man's world. And uh, the men look at you and they kind of, uh, you know, it's not that kind of environment, the decent environment we had where you can talk to a man without having him to think that you are, you know, you want to go to bed with him or something. Oh, even though, like in London, we kindly speak to someone, uh, to a man, we could have a discussion. Doesn't mean that uh, with men, if we have a discussion, we talk or a friend comes over like my friends have known Jude and these Christian friends, my cousins, Ashwag, Raju, they've known, we have spoken till morning and never touched each other. Uh, so great were Afsar Auntie's sons, Raju and Ashwag, my cousins. We could talk and you know, with me, they know what it is to talk, just talk. Although in uh, in our religion it says that if there's a man and a woman or a girl and a boy together alone, then the third one would definitely be Satan and they would be touching each other and doing bad things. It's better to avoid speaking alone uh, with a man, you know, if you are a girl or a woman. So... Um, 
before I die, I just want to get uh, whatever is on my head out and uh, I'd, uh, I definitely will not be living because I told God that I don't want to live without my brothers. So definitely if something's happened to my brother <clears throat> and if I feel it inside, they're hiding it, I will definitely die. <clears throat> so they have uh, killed my brother. Definitely not COVID. He could not have COVID. And they have killed my brother. So congratulations. Uh, good for you. Hope you are happy. The enemies, hope go and celebrate. And uh, enjoy each other. And use, use each other. That's what you were made for. That's what your dirty wombs, mothers, brought you for.